We are at the gym, Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day out, nice and sunny. It's chest day today. I'm super excited, man, chest day. We're probably sticking to the classic flat, incline, flies, dips, done. Because uh, last time, that was the best chest pump I've had ever. We're gonna warm up with some pull-ups and push-ups and then get going. So it's funny, because I was gonna do like two rest days a week, but I feel like with the bro split, I'm able to lift a little bit more, maybe six days a week and have one rest day and get away with it. The reason being, I feel like a few days, like there's a few workouts here and there, especially like arms, where it doesn't feel like I'm actually taxing my, you know, taxing myself as much as, you know, legs or chest or back. But back when I used to do like a, I think it was a three day split. Um, if I did like back and shoulders or chest and arms, I'd be pretty tired after which required me to rest more. But with the bro split, because I'm so hyper fixated on doing one body part at a time, it really feels like I can get away with resting a bit less. The recovery component actually feels pretty good too. Like I did chest, last time I did chest was last Monday. So it's been six days since then. But you know, we're here now. My chest should be fully recovered and we're ready to go. So I'll see y'all in the gym. Back on my favorite day of the week. Chest day. My chest was lagging since I was born. Thus, I seek what I cannot have, which is why I love chest day. Warming up here with some 185. I'm not gonna lie, this workout was kind of terrible. The pump was just not coming. I thought that I did enough warm up sets, but my nervous system was not firing on all cylinders at all. We got 225 on the bar here. Usually I'd go for a rep PR with 225, but today I was like, you know what? Let me try going a bit heavier and seeing what happens. So what did I do? I went and loaded up 245 just to see how it feel. And my goodness, it actually felt pretty heavy. Surprise, surprise. I was only able to get two reps out of it. The second rep was actually kind of a grinder. So now we know my PR is 245 for two reps, which is honestly pretty pathetic. But now we know I'm going to go for heavy sets on bench. I'm not just going to do rep PRs with two plates because I always feel like doing heavy sets of three to five reps is how I really progress my strength over time. We did some back off sets with 225 and 205. Usually I back off to 185, but today I was like, you know what? Because 245 and 225 felt so heavy today, I had to get revenge on myself and push myself on the back off sets with much heavier weight, which is 205 for me. And honestly, by this point was when I actually felt like the bar was moving properly and firing properly. So I guess I really just was not warmed up enough, but that's okay. We then moved on to some incline bench press. You know, last week I did this with 155, but today I was like, you know what? I'm not going for that weak stuff no more. Let's go for 185. And the 185 actually felt fine. So next week, maybe we'll go for 195 or just up it to 205. Cause you know, why, why just be stuck at the lower weight when I can push it harder? The sunlight, as you can see, was absolutely blinding. You can't even see my face here. I'm looking like Pillsbury Doughboy. I am looking like Apollo, the sun god. Don't mind me sweating right there. That looks pretty horrible, but the sun was actually pretty distracting, I'm not gonna lie, because I could not see anything. I was pretty much blinded. I did five sets of flat bench and then four sets of incline bench. Then we moved on to the cable flies where I could finally kind of feel my chest for the first time today. The mind muscle connection for my chest today was simply just not there, but the cable flies kind of helped. I might have to go back to doing fly warm ups instead of push up warm ups because the push up warm ups today did not have me ready for my bench press. I honestly just love this movement though. I love the stretch I get at the bottom. I really try to bring my hands outwards a bit just to get that little extra stretch at the bottom and it feels awesome. Now by this point last week, I was so burnt out I could not do anything but some body weight dips. But today, today I was angry. I needed revenge on my chest for not getting a pump. So I sat down on the machine chest press and kind of just went to town. I was doing drop sets. I was just sitting there doing light sets. I was doing anything I could to feel my chest and it wasn't really working. So we ended up doing two or three sets on this machine press. And then I moved on to two sets of dips and we dipped. Yeah, my physique is looking all right, I guess. My waist is looking a little bit blockier for sure because I am putting on some weight. Every time I see my physique, I'm just like, man, if only my head was like two times smaller, how nice would my physique look? But what can I do? What can I do? I just finished my chest workout. Bro, I cannot find a pump. Like you could have given me a map and I wouldn't have been able to find the pump. Like it was absolutely bad. Like last chest workout, 
I did like three sets of bench and my chest was like fully pumped and like it was it was it was scorched but this workout I sat there on the machine press just trying to like do drop sets getting get any type of pump I could and there was just nothing so I don't know sometimes I guess it is what it is it kind of sucks I guess this is the one drawback of the bro split is that if you feel like you don't have a good workout you're not hitting that body part until like one week later which you know doesn't feel that great but that's okay I think I made like it was okay because um I guess I did try moving up in weight on bench and it didn't hurt my shoulders at all so I think I'm gonna start trying to keep upping my weights and move some heavy weight on bench press the reason why I was trying to only do like rep um like expand my reps on bench press was because I was scared of going above 225 and hurting my shoulders but 245 today actually felt fine um, I only got it for two however I have a feeling I could have gotten it for more if I was actually fully warmed up and my nervous system was actually warmed up today was just one of those days man where my body didn't really feel like it was firing properly probably didn't have enough carbs in me I just was not feeling like I was properly performing in the gym honestly after my top set of 245 for two when I did my sets with like 205 for seven and then five reps, the bar felt like it was actually moving properly by that point. But it was too late to go back and do a top set. So what I'm gonna do next time is probably warm up a bit longer or I, I'll like not go in the morning where my body's not really warm. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I typically have better lifts when I go in the evening because I have more food in me. My body's woken up. I've been moving around throughout the day. So my body's actually properly, you know, performing as opposed to just coming up coming after I wake up and you know having a small snack and not really moving around all day but anyways we're gonna go we're gonna go to the grocery store pick up some things uh, gonna go have some breakfast or lunch with the wife and then I'll see y'all in a bit I forgot to film but we had avocado toast I had four eggs I think I had four pieces of toast maybe five also gonna have some instant noodles and I had some protein powder as well all right, we are heading out now. Gonna go check out the grocery store just for some, you know, for funsies. We got really nothing to do, so gonna hit up the grocery store, probably get dinner ready around five or six, but I'll see y'all soon. It's gonna be all right. All right, we're back. Picked up some peanut butter, peanut butter cookies. Delicious, it's making me, mmm. 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 How does one maintain leanness without dieting? I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy because I'm definitely not that lean. <laughs> mm. On a more serious note, today my session or my training session for chest was not very good. I was honestly, I'm still honestly not super happy that the fact that I could not find a pump to save my life. It was like, I just couldn't get it. It just wasn't a great workout. My strength did not feel that great either. But, but the bright side is, now I know I can actually push myself on bench for heavy reps for even like two or three reps and it doesn't hurt my shoulders. I think I finally figured out how to actually properly bench without hurting myself. So, what we're gonna do now is instead of chasing more reps with 225, I'm gonna keep on trying to push the weight up for heavy sets of three or four not sure what I can get. We're gonna try 245 next time again. Hopefully we can get three or four reps instead of two reps, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm doing when I perform better in the gym. Like I always said, my ultimate goal is to have a squat of 405 for reps and bench of three plates for reps. So hopefully we get there eventually. It's definitely gonna take a lot of time. Right now I'm at like 225 for reps on squat, or sorry, 225 for reps on bench and probably around 275 or maybe 300 even on squats for reps. So it's gonna take me a while to get to those numbers. Probably basically like another plate for both, but, but we're gonna get there eventually, eventually. But anyways, I'm just gonna wind down for the weekend. Uh, it's Sunday night, just gonna chill, rest up for the week ahead. Super excited for the week ahead. Make gains, go to work, make bread. <clears throat> Exciting times. So. I'll see y'all soon. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Hope y'all stay safe. See you soon.